So for number 38, we're taking um, the same equation as problem number 37, but now we're revolving about the x-axis. So as we saw previously, um, the points here, it goes from 2, from x is equal to 2, all the way out to x is equal to 4, right? Um, but now, instead of rotating about the y-axis, we're rotating about the x-axis. So when we rotate about the x-axis, it's like we're taking every single point on this red curve, and we are rotating like so. We're going to end up adding all these, um, all these circles here. And so when we sum them up, it is going to give us a volume, right? So our volume is going to be, um, actually, let me put that a little bit higher. Our volume is going to be the sum of all these circles from two to four. And these circles have an area, right? Um, and so let's think about the, the area of the circle. So the circle is going to go like this, and we're summing it up horizontally. That's why we have our dx here. And um, the area of any circle, area is given by pi r squared. And as we can see here, the radius is just wherever it touches that red curve, right? Um, which means that our circles, they increase, and then they decrease in area, and so on. So actually, our area is just going to be pi times the radius squared, and the radius is going to be defined by this curve right here, x minus 8 squared. And so this is going to give us our radius, right? Um, however, because we're integrating this, we have to expand this into a polynomial, because if I were to just integrate it like this, I would not be able to do it, right? Um, so unfortunately, this is going to be a nasty calculation, but we're going to have to foil it out. So area is going to be, um, oops, pi times minus x squared plus 6x minus 8 times uh, minus x squared plus 6x minus 8. So we're going to have to um, expand this, and I'm just going to begin by uh, multiplying these terms like so. So we're going to multiply them all with x squared, and then with 6x, and then with minus 8. Um, and then once more, the, the pi goes outside, and so let's expand this. This gives us x to the power of 4 minus 6x cubed plus 8x squared, and then we get um, minus 6x cubed, and then plus 36x squared, and then we get minus... 48x, um, and then lastly, we have to expand this minus 8, right? We have to distribute it out, rather. So plus 8x squared minus 48x, and then plus 64. So what we're going to do now is we're going to collect like terms. Um, I only have a single to the power of 4, so x to the power of 4. A cube, I have minus 6 and minus 6. So let me just go... Um, Maybe I'm just going to instead go highlighting so that you guys can follow. So I've dealt with this, right? And then I'm going to have minus 6 cubed minus 6 cubed, so minus 12x cubed. So I have dealt with this as well. And then the x squared, I'm going to have 8 plus 8 plus 36. So that gives me plus 52x squared. Uh, took care of this, took care of that, and took care of that. The single x, I'm going to have minus 48, minus 48, so that is minus 96x. And lastly, we're going to have plus 64. Plus 64. All right, so that's the expression that we have. And rem remember that this is just going to give us the expression of the um, of the, the area of the circle, right? So our volume is going to be the sum of this area, so the sum from 2 to 4 of pi goes outside, and then we're integrating all this stuff. So we're integrating x to the power of 4 minus 12x cubed plus 52x squared minus 96x plus 64, all of this times dx. Um, and so once we have this, we are ready to just take the antiderivative, so the volume is going to be pi times, um, that gives us x cubed to the power of 5 minus, uh, let's see, 12 divided by 4, that's going to give us minus 3. So minus 3x to the power of 4. 
and then plus 52x cubed over 3, and then minus 96x squared divided by 2, that's going to give us minus 48x squared, and then plus 64x, and all of this from 2 to 4. So let me just double check uh, my math, and that appears to be correct. And so with this, let's expand it out. So it gives us pi times, I'm going to plug in 4 to everything, so 4 to the power of 5 over 5, uh, so that's going to give us 1024 over 5, uh, minus 768, and then plus 3328 over 3, uh, minus 768, and then plus 256. All right, so I've plugged in 4, now I have to plug in 2 and then subtract it, right? So then this goes uh, minus 2 to the power of 5, so minus 32 over 5, uh, minus minus, so that is going to give us plus 48, um, minus 416 to the over 3, and then let's see, minus minus, so that's going to give us plus plus 192, and lastly, minus 64 times 2, so minus 128. Oof, that was quite a lot. Um, and so if we simplify this all, and remember that all of this is being multiplied by pi, our volume is going to be pi times, if I plug this into my calculator, I'm going to join everything, and this gives us um, 16 over 15. And so my resultant is 16 pi over 15. And that's the volume that I get when I take this area here and I revolve it about the x-axis.